welcome back. As the third wave grips the country, the race against the clock to get more life-saving COVID-19 jabs begins. As a result, SAPRA has invited pharmaceutical companies to submit applications. The LHC Pharmaceuticals has submitted the uh, Sinopharm vaccine dossier to the regulator. This is the first vaccine from the East that has been authorized by the World Health Organization for Emergency Use. The executive chairman of LHC Pharmaceuticals, Silo Ratete, joins us now for more on this. Silo, thanks for your time. We appreciate it. So I was asking you this about whether or not SAPRA has acknowledged receipt of this dossier from LHC, because just yesterday, SAPRA was saying it did it. Uh, thank you, Sean. Uh, good evening, uh, viewers. Uh, the, the, the question is a very good question because uh, we, we submitted a dossier on Friday afternoon at 4 o'clock. We believe that uh, by the time the SAFRA was going to the media uh, reporting about those which were submitted, the news hadn't reached the office of the CEO. And I believe that at the moment uh, we would be getting our acknowledgement of receipt of the thing. We did that as per their instructions, the letter that they wrote us on the 11th of June, uh, that we should be able to submit the ACDD format, and they listed all the documents that are required, including the WHO authorization letter that was used to approve Sinopharm. So we did all what is needed to be done, and I learned even this afternoon, the CEO of SAPRA uh, indicated that uh, Sinopharm hasn't really submitted, but I believe and I've got confidence in the process of SAFRA that the news would not have reached her by the time she went to the press. But I believe tomorrow we may hear the different story. Mm, it's been a couple of days, though. So uh, let's talk about the process here, though, right? What is the involvement of pharmaceutical companies? What interest do you have to recommend a vaccine to SAFRA? Look, uh, the, the pandemic uh, came to this country and shocked everybody. And uh, uh, as a pharmaceutical company, one of our major objectives is to participate in saving life and supporting uh, the life of the people of South Africa through different medicines. So these vaccines processes brought its own opportunity to all upcoming pharmaceutical companies like us, which is a black-owned, black-managed pharmaceutical company which needed to see how could we do to assist our government in reaching herd immunity. And we had to start engaging with different pharmaceutical companies that are engaged in the vaccine manufacture. And we finally found out that Sinopharm was one of the most well-positioned vaccine that we could be able to recommend based on its own unique structure and how it uh, does its own functions. So tell us more about Sinopharm and why you reckon it's perfect for South Africa. And also, if you know whether there's research to show that it works against the variant first discovered in this country. Yes, it, it, it is very interesting that uh, uh, the whole world and countries are struggling and racing to reach herd immunity. And most wealthy countries like U.S. and the West have managed to do that because they've got capacity and capability to do that. But as you look into the East, you found out that uh, the East, the Sinopharm and the Sinovac, the Chinese vaccines have already been there for more than 90 countries worldwide. And they have done what is needed to be done. Remember, Shahan, vaccine is not there to prevent infections. Vaccine is there to reduce deadly disease so that people should not die. So we believe that Sinopharm, due to its own uniqueness of developing a vaccine of this nature, would be able to be very important for South Africa, not only South Africa, but also for the African continent. I'll tell you why. It has got unique characteristics. The Sinopharm Varicel vaccine is the first vaccine that was approved by WHO, which has got the vial, uh, the, the, the vial monitor what you call the vaccine vial monitor, the VVM. This vaccine vial monitor, it gives a nurse and the person who's receiving that vaccine at the point of administration 
confidence about its own chain processes, uh, cold chain processes. It shows that the vaccine has either lost the cold chain process or not. What do I mean about that? You know that the vaccines need to be stored in such a way that it must be retained that storage uh, 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 requirements. So when you, for example, a nurse in Sukhmekar might be sitting there having a vaccine, not knowing how is it being transported to that particular place, how was it kept, and he has to get that vaccine and administer to a patient. So the VVM, this vaccine temperature monitor, it helps the nurse to see that if this vaccine was not well stored, it will change the color. I'll make it in a very simple way mm -hmm. so that we could be able to understand. That vaccine will show the different color to show that the vaccine has not been stored properly. So to me and to, to, to my business partners and everybody who's involved in this process have realized that for Africa, there's a much more need for such vaccines that could be able to give confidence to the people who are administering it, as opposed to the places where there's no fridges and everything, they will just do it without even knowing whether it was well stored or transported. Yeah. That is the unique feature of this vaccine, and I believe it will play a major role in, in, in South Africa and African continent as a whole. And of course, a very important uh, uh, you know, role because we need to get to rural areas across the country and other parts of Africa. But I've been reading about the efficacy of this vaccine. Of course, it ranges from 67% in trials in Brazil to 84% in Turkey. Now, some research shows that it is effective when it comes to that variant first discovered in South Africa, but it was weaker compared to, uh, you know, other trials around the world. That would be a concern, right, and something that needs to be taken into consideration before SAPRA agrees on this. Yes, um, it, it is very interesting. Those are very good questions, and uh, I believe that we should take things in context. Um, the, the research that has been done regarding the variant in South Africa mainly were lab studies. There were not major clinical trials that were taken. It has shown that with the simple few samples that have been done, it showed that the variants uh, 501Y.V2, the so-called South African variant, could not escape the Sinopharm vaccine. And it has been reported in several uh, uh, media say that it, 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 it effectively worked. Even if the effect of it is reduced, you could not be able to detect the maximum effect when the sample is not maximum. So we need to be given a chance. And that is the opportunity of a black company like us to come on down here, look, be given an opportunity like others that came here and look and do several clinical trials to ascertain and to make sure that that vaccine works for South African variant. Yeah, absolutely. So it, it is very important and we need to do that. So SAFRA should be, and I believe and I'm confident in SAFRA, that they could not be able to conclude that it does not work against South African variant when such studies have not been done in South Africa. Mm. So it is an opportunity for SAPRA to give us that opportunity, that time to be able to determine and make sure, just like any other vaccine that came into the country, to make sure that we say yes or no. I get you. The time is not something we have, right? Because people are dying daily in this country from COVID-19, so we need the vaccines fast. How long do you think this process will take for SAPRA to go through the dossier and to do everything that is needed for this vaccine, Sinopharm, to be allowed into the country? I, I, I wouldn't like to, to predict how long SAFRA will make. SAFRA has got the principles. We have been with SAFRA, working with SAFRA with different dossiers for a long time. And we believe that SAFRA uses what you call the reliance method. It, 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 what it did with other vaccines that are here in this country, they use the reliance method. The reliance method is the method of using their own partners outside South Africa, like the FDA, the WHO, to see how did they do and approve their vaccines. It is not by coincidence that we submit our vaccines for Sinopharm today or now lately, because we are confident that because WHO has given a go-ahead, has approved this vaccine for emergency use, 
So Safra will use the same methods like it did with other vaccines. So it shouldn't take long when it uses the evil method. Remember, Sharon, no country, no any other person knows exactly has got the method of evaluating whether the vaccine is right or wrong. Mm. All this country worldwide, we are doing investigations. This is a new thing. We are doing trials one, two, three, four, five. And it depends on the period and the time that you do that. The more the samples that you do is the more you get confidence whether the vaccine works or not. So you could not be able to be punished because you haven't done as much sampling as it needed to be while others are given the opportunity. So I believe and I've got strong confidence that Safra should be able to say because of this, the, the rate at which we are going in this country, our objective as LHC Pharmaceuticals is to assist our government to reach herd immunity. It is not by coincidence that we are not reaching every minute. We are still having almost a million people out of 40 million that we need to be anticipated to do. And that is not because government cannot do it. It's because of the shortage and the unavailability of these vaccines. Why can't we use these vaccines and bring these vaccines so that those which are here could be used to reach the head immunity? Very quickly, I, is I, there, that's my question. Is there we enough have to vaccines? use what is available to save life. Is there enough Sinopharm vaccines, though? Because, you know, we've seen so shortages with Johnson & Johnson, etc., because of the demand globally. What will that be like if Sinopharm is allowed in the country? Are we going to see the same situation? Sinopharm has recently uh, informed us that they are ready to can export over 100 million doses of vaccine to other countries in the world. They have already now recently uh, subject to correction. They finished one of the biggest vaccine manufacturing fa facility in Beijing. And we are also being able to talk to them in terms of our future plans, in terms of seeing how could we help to fast track the fill and finish facilities in the country. So it's a long-term project. This thing of vaccines is a long-term project. It starts slow, but it's going to go on and on forever looking at the manner in which this variant changes its own shape on a daily basis. So it is very important that we look at those who could be able to manufacture enough. And having a vaccine, being vaccinated, does not mean that you have, been, you have, you have stopped transmission of, of, of virus infection. The transmission will continue to be there. It doesn't matter what you say. No one guarantees that when you are vaccinated, you won't be ill of, of, of COVID-19. Mm. It just limits the chances of people dying of yeah. this horrible pandemic. All right. That's what we are crying for, he reaching herd immunity and assist and save life. People will be sick, but they will be getting better. That's the intention of LAC Pharmaceuticals. And we believe that our government is singing the same song but it is being trapped in the unavailability of products and unavailability of those vaccines that are authorized by FDA and WHO. Yeah. But today, as we speak, that problem has been solved. There are more vaccines that have been supported by WHO. So Safra should be able to assist us yeah. and help this country reach herd immunity. Good pitch. Good talking to you. I appreciate uh, your time. That, of course, is Executive Chairman of LHC Pharmaceuticals, Selo Ratete.